good evening, good morning, good night, or whatever. It's me. Uh, hopefully the cold bonds a little bit better on this. Um, I forgot how it's still activated for the winter dark weather, right? Um, so, as it's a very bright day, as you can tell by the way I'm squinting, um, I thought I'd have to rest on the colour bands. I'm hoping it's looking alright. Uh, it's been an eventful time as usual. I'll cover some of the stuff. Um, I thought it was the biggest, 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 big news of the whole lot is that uh, Old Dust last night announced um, Maya 2011. Softer Mars 2011, Max 2011, and Mudbox 2011. Now, if you're watching this, the good chance that you're interested in the Mudbox side. Um, I knew it was going to be announced yesterday. I knew a month and a half back. Being an authorised developer, you get heads up, right? Um, so you can have things ready, blah blah blah, you know. Um, so there's a whole lot of stuff that you know I haven't been able to discuss, but uh, it's worth it. Now I know that people, if you haven't taken a look at what the new features are, there's some of them like posing system you think okay yeah so it's probably something like zebra it's not it's a full bone system um you can import a weighted bone rigged and skin model from maya max after much whatever right um through fbx uh, incidentally you know i'll cover that later on but you know you can so you can and then use that rig right uh you wait won't be identical but it'll be near as damn it it does a very very good job but uh, there's some things i expect people not to understand the gravity of them like vector displacement uh yes you can extract the maps but it's not a whole lot of good at the moment because the person at Autodesk who was supposed to be writing the shaders uh, for Mental Ray, for Max Maya etc um, was on holiday, right? Ill or whatever, or meant to return to leave or something. Um, I was approached by somebody unofficially from Autodesk and said, uh, look, do you know what these shaders are as well? A little bit, you know. So what I've been doing for the last three weeks is writing a vector displacement shader for Mental Ray, for Max Maya Soft Homage. Um, Zap Anderson also helped me write it. Unfortunately, Zap is, is so busy at the moment he can't help anymore with it. Um, the Soft Homage version works, sort of. Um, Max and Meyer are still fucked up because there's a big bug, or it seems to be a bug, in Mental Ray itself um, when it comes to Meyer and Max's implementation. But the idea is to get something that's not going to be tied to one shader that will work across any shader you want, right? That's supported by Mental Ray. That's the idea. <coughs> um, so yeah, it's been, uh, I've, I've got a lot to do, as well as my work. Now I'm working full time now, uh, as I mentioned, I think I'm one of the other ones. Can't say who for, because the project's not public yet. Um, and it's not wanted to be in the public domain yet. When it is, I'll tell you. Um, but I'm, I'm now a CGI supervisor. Uh, everything that's 2D and 3D goes through me, right, basically. Um, that's the bottom line. Can't tell anymore. So, other news, well... You probably noticed the little video I upped. Because I've been mentioned it in the last one, I've, I've mentioned it a lot, that I've had a uh, pipeline for Mudwalker that worked with ZBrush. You know, I've had it for a year and a half, right? I just didn't dare release it. Because um, it could get me in a whole boatload of shit. Because neither one of these companies, not the suits at the top, would rather that there wasn't an interplay of that degree between the two main sculpting apps. Because then you have people most probably will use the best features of either one um, and the power of them both combined is far greater than either one of them on its own, to be honest. Uh, I've all said there are thousands of workflows that um, that I could cover um, on video that I guarantee nobody's thought of yet. Um, it opens that up if I want to. But the one thing I would say is, uh, see if I'd been dealing with Pixel Logic, they would have had a right hissy fit when I'd announced that. Um, there's plenty of, in fact, hundreds of plugins and street scripts over the years that they've had mothballed and you cannot post on Zebrish Central. Um, there's one guy in particular, he used to post on Old High in 3D and his stuff will never appear there because he's banned. Because he used to point out the things that were already there that they had done for the new future. But I'm going to get into all that. Um, so it turns out that I had a little word with Autodesk and I basically sent an email with two lines in it and one of them was which, okay, am I going to get into shit over this? Because if so, I want to know right now before I release it, because it's not really worth having two major software manufacturers that want to kill you, basically, right? And I'm not so melodramatic, but it, there's a lot of shit goes on behind the scenes in 3D. And it turns out, oh, there's space, their opinion is, not to do with us. People are going to use what they like, you know, they either use our stuff or they don't. And I think, fair enough, very mature of them. So, Mudwalker uh, Zebra integration will be getting released. The code's old now, so I want to do a bit of a tidy up of it, add a few things to it. <coughs> um, it does a lot of stuff that it's not um, obvious in the video and things I don't cover. 
There's a couple of buttons already moved, things like that, you know, before I shoot it. But um, it will see release, right? Now, um, Mudbox has added a uh, into action with uh, Max and uh, with well, Meyer at the moment, and I think they're on about Max as well. Um, basically, Mudwalker, right? Is it Mudwalker? No. The story behind it, back when it was in beta, before it was public, uh, I had a problem with the code to do with the SDK, and they were pretty sure it was a bug. And they asked me for the full source code, not partial, but full source code of Mudwalker. And I'll hand it over. Uh, I'll let you make your own minds up as to um, whether this integration is a little bit too close. Bearing in mind there's things that I've asked for in the Mudbox SDK, they're still not there, right? Uh, hopefully they'll be adding the service pack, but you know, it'll be a bit naughty, you know what I mean? To be, let's just say, heavily inspired by Mudwalker. Uh, they admit it's down to the success of Mudwalker when it was first released, the fact that people went nuts for that, and most people said the best thing about Mudbox 2010 was Mudwalker, which pissed off certain programs at Autodesk. Um, and that's the gospel truth. Uh, so what do we do, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, that's the that's the, the sort of ifs and ands of it all, you know what I mean? Um, is it as good as Mudwalker? Well, there's things I had added to the SDK for FBX, not Mud Mudbox, um, that the Mudbox guys don't have control over. Um, not that I've got any problem with them, obviously, get on well with them. Um, so, from the 2011 side, it will also support displacement uh, being passed across. Uh, it'll obviously depend on the host application's implementation of it, but it's there. And you will need the latest version of FBX. It should work, should theoretically work in the old wraps as well, like Max 2010, 2008, etc. Okay. So, let's see what time is. Seven minutes. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's been... been I, I, I see, the, the Maya release is basically... Um, a lot of that's because they're porting it over at the QT library, so it's easier to develop across platforms. Uh, Max, very strong release. Uh, Mudbox, very strong release. Motion Builder didn't have a chance to try it out. Soft Image, had a bit of a play about with it, some nice stuff in there. Uh, lots of stuff like that, right? But uh, it's the old thing. Give it a go, right? What do you got to lose? But I think uh, there's certain parts of Mudbox that are there. Like the fact you can use a vector displacement map for a, a stamp on your brush. But you think, well, wait, what difference that fucking make? Oh, you'd be surprised. I'm not going to tell you exactly what difference it'll make, but there's a world of difference. Okay? For one thing, scale of the model ceases to be an option if you do a certain thing. Now, I'm pretty sure Odessa don't realise this. Uh, no, they're the beta assessors, so I'm not going to say a word about that. Um, now, I do expect a lot of people suddenly deciding that Woodbox is worth doing DVDs on. I would hope that people realise that I was there and released the first DVD on Mudbox back years ago, a practical guide, when I was back with, when I was with Company X, doing DVDs for them. Not to see, well, okay, Curve Studios. <laughs> right? Because the bastards still owe me a lot of money. Um, and I released DVDs when nobody was using Mudbox. Advanced concepts, which is a bit of a fucking risk normal to be honest, because it wasn't anything advanced about it. I didn't come up with the title. It was branded that afterwards. Um, so yeah, the time we've got. Um, I've been there since the very beginning. I've done how many DVDs now? Five DVDs, two for Curve, three for Mudbox Hub. There's um, a DVDs worth of stuff. In fact, probably about three DVDs worth that I put up for free. Then there's all the quick start ones, all the other freebies, all the timelines. I put a lot of shit out, right? So I'm hoping that people don't just um, think, okay, he's done his job now and held the fort for a couple of years. He can piss off now and find somebody better. I would be a little bit annoyed. In fact, I'd be more than a little bit annoyed. Um, I've put things in place so that I can uh, continue on with what I want to cover and where I want things to head. Um, I'll explain more about that either in the next video or next part or whatever I remember basically. But yes, right. See you in part two.